How to Market on the Web, The 10 Basic Steps to Success So you want to learn how to market on the web. Many people are trying to learn different aspects of marketing and striving to make a living online. The internet marketplace is an interesting place that has its own rules. There are a lot of really cool tools and programs out there that can make it a little easier, but you really need to have a handle on the basics to see how it all works together. No matter what you are trying to sell on the internet, the same steps apply for just about everything. Many organizations will focus on one or two elements of marketing online but miss the big picture and are not as effective as they would like to be. So we wanted to take a few minutes and give you the top 10 steps on how to market on the web. Follow these 10 easy steps to have a massive impact on your internet marketing. Point 1. Define product or service. Before you take the time to learn how to market on the web, you have to decide what you want to sell. We always suggest that you choose products or services that you like to interact with. If money was not the issue, what would you be doing? When you have the answer to that, you can define what it is you want to sell. Do a little research into the business aspect of the item and see what others are doing in the internet marketplace. Point 2. Secure supply. The trick here is to find a supply of the product or service that is cheap enough to allow you to make a little profit. A lot of times you will be able to negotiate a price that will be good for you and the organizations that are producing the items. You should get an agreement on the price and what is offered before you start to decide how to market on the web. This simple step will help you establish an online business that will be profitable and solid. Point 3. Keywords, the internet marketplace and all media on the web are sorted by special phrases called keywords. These are referenced when you type in a problem statement to the search engines. That is how your results are delivered to you. When you want to market anything on the internet, you must decide what keywords most describe your service or product. The art of keyword research is designed to find out what consumers are searching for and then to evaluate how the competition decided how to market on the web. Proper keyword research is essential to your success and has to be done correctly to avoid failure. Point 4. Content. When you learn how to market on the web, you will learn to create media that will draw the attention of your targeted consumers. This content can be a business-related article, video, or other type of informative offering that will work to answer your consumer's question. They ask a question of the search engines and your contents answers that question. You will be able to make an impact on the internet marketplace with solid, informative, content that gives great answers to the readers. The more of the content you get out on the internet, the more of an expert you will become. Point 5. Give more information when you get the attention of your targeted traffic. The next step is to offer them even more information on the subject. The place to do that is that on your website or blog. You will establish a home on the internet marketplace that will give a lot more information and offer a solution to the problems that face your customers. Try to keep your sites as conversational as possible. The more interaction you can have, the more you will find out what the challenges are that your customers are facing. Then you can adjust your offerings to serve even more of the market. This is a serious part of how to market on the web.6. Collect prospect info, the most important part of how to market on the web and your internet marketing home, is the front page or what is called a landing page. This is the first page that your customers will see when they come to your site. This page is not for selling the product or service you are offering. This page should be selling what is called an opt-in. This is the process of collecting contact information on your visitors. You will need to give them a really good reason to give you that data but it is important to be able to follow up with them. The average time spent on a page is less than 3 seconds. If your customers leave, they may never come back. So this stage is crucial to your success. Point 7. Follow up even if you understand how to market on the web, you still need to develop sales and customer service skills. You have a customer, but you have to build a relationship with them in order to get them to the next level. Callbacks are a great start. There are marketing tools called autoresponders that will allow you to drip good information on your prospects in the form of emails. This process is automatic and time to deliver incentives and keep you fresh in their minds. Point 8. Educate. The first step of sales is to inform and educate your customer on the industry. 
This is your chance to bring the prospect up to speed and give them a look behind the curtain and let them know what is involved. Answering your customers' questions will allow them to understand your product or service and qualify them for the sale. People rarely make a purchase because of price, they normally will base their purchasing activities on value. If you offer value in your product or service, they will be more likely to get involved. This aspect of how to market on the web can be paramount. Point 9. Empower customer to purchase Knowing how to market on the web is just a part of the sales process. Your task here is not to convince the prospect to make a purchase. Remember that they started this process by looking for your business. Your job at this point is to allow them to have what they really wanted. If you have educated them and showed them the value, then they are already leaning that way. You simply have to remove the obstacles in their way. Work with them to determine what is holding them back and then do what you can to remove that and help them make the purchase. Point 10. Offer new products A large part of how to market on the web is in the resale or upsell. When you allow the customer to purchase the item or services that they want, you can then offer them additional items that complement the purchase. This does not have to be at the time of the original sale. You can use your autoresponders to send out periodic broadcasts that will offer updates, information, and new items for sale. This is a big part of a relationship-style sales model. You want to keep them informed so that when they, or someone they know, get ready to purchase again, they will think of you. This is simply a rough overview of how to market on the web. Each of these steps has specific methods and techniques attached. You will need to get a better education of how all of these are done to maximize your advertising efforts. If this still seems like something you want to learn, you should seek out a good internet marketing education and a mentor who can hold your hand during the learning curve. The right person will make all the difference to you and your business.